If Theo sends me their f cassette player, I swear I'm I'm ending it all. All of it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's going to be spectacular, though. So, yeah, no, I just... All right, spoiler alerts. I just finished my review of the CD players, like, I don't know, half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago. And I needed to, to sort of, like, relax and chill and get back to my roots and get back to things that are good, um, a.k.a. daps that don't have CD players in them. And also, both of these are hippies. Well, one's a hippie and one's a hippie digital. Both under $200. And for those of you who are like, well, I don't know if I want to dap Zeos, you do for this reason. Because these are under $200. Now, excuse the AI mouse pad. I, I, never, I never intended to have weird shit, but it exists. So I had a little bit of a freak out. Uh, about the CD player stuff, the Shandling one, and then the desktop one, which is SMSL, which is, I guess, less atrocious, the fact that it's a desktop CD player, but still atrocious because it's $700, and it's just like, oh, God. No one should be taking anything portable that isn't, like, modern tech. Now, here's the thing. These little fucking hibbies, this is the R3 Mark II, and this is the M300, and... They both do enough of a job that if you're just like, I don't know if I want to uh, adapt Zeos, so I, just, I just, you know, just play off my phone. I can play off my phone. Well, guess what? This literally is a full Android device, including running Plus Messenger. I'm in Golden Sounds chat. Look, if I type, oh, I'm going to stick to type hello, there's actually a fucking vibration motor in it to, to, to give me haptic feedback. This, if I do this, here, wait, let's go back to the music list. If I do this and pull down, I can actually turn on a speaker. It's not a great speaker. So, back to those. Pause. So now, the Hibby R3, we've seen before. In fact, and I realized this only before while prepping for this review... I've never sold an R3, ever. I've always decided that they're gonna be useful. In fact, of all the digital audio players, which is what DAP stands for, that I've ever owned, this is the only one that I not only still have both previous revisions, but they're still in use. In fact, we can walk literally three steps. It was five steps. Here, is the original Hibby all fucking covered in dust, which sits here with a 3.5 millimeter out to this, to the burn-in rig, to the big Tascam 8 channel, just playing constantly, plugged into a little USB charger. It never shuts off. In fact, the only thing that shuts off is the amp, so that I don't hear music while I'm doing reviews. That's just on a constant loop of playing 500 songs. That's what that one's job is. That's your job. It's got a permanent high-res audio sticker on the glass, Luckily, this one doesn't have that. Oh, look at this. Here you go. Here's the other Hibby. The Mark the R2, I guess. The Mark II. I took the SD card out because I stole it to use just recently. Um, but here is it attached to the Honey H1. Turning this into a DAP with... Because this only had a 2.5 and a 3.5. And this is the big 4.4 son of a bitch. One of the best amplifiers ever, but you need to feed it with USB. So there's the other Hibby. So in use 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And in use when I want to take this thing portable and it's just attached with a little case, it'll just pop out and do things. So here's the third revision. And you know what? It'll probably not be sold because it's great. It has one flaw. I, I've actually, I've used it enough that I've scratched the screen. It came with screen protectors and I didn't put them on. And I was cleaning it like for the review, I'm like get it real clean. I know this is a ding right fuck in there. And I'm like, that's not dirt, is it? But you know what? That's fine. Daps are, here's why you get a dap instead of just using your phone. Abuse. You can be an abusive prick to a DAP, especially a cheap one. You're paying $700 for a top-of-line Shandling. You're going to baby that motherfucker. You buy $180. Let's see what these actually are directly from Hibby. I believe Hibby sent these directly. This is $179, and this is $200. This is a $200 full Android device. 
Like, you want to download Quobuzz? You do it. You want to download Tidal? You do it. Spotify? Do it. It's just Android. In fact, it's one of the smallest. Here's my phone. It's one of the smallest Android devices I've ever fucking seen that's actually full tits Android. So, your other option... Oh, oh power saving. Uh, cancel. Okay, yeah. Because I paused it. Let's lower this down. I have this one in its little condom. This one I don't think had a condom. It's not in the box anymore. I may have had a I may have had a protective coating and I just took it out. So let's pull this out of its little protective thing. Although I'd probably leave it in there for just longevity's sake. I'm a big fan of not using these if they get in the way. This one does not get in the way. Except it does do that when I try to take it out of here. Hold on. Ugh. It's like one of those soap dishes at a goddamn hotel. So, 4.4 and 3.5. So finally, the first one with a 4.4 in it, which is what I think should be the future plug for everything. Just make it 4.4, right? 3.5 is a little bit, nah. No one needs 2.5, but anyways, 4.4 is perfect. So if we walk around this unit, you get a little rubberized cover over the SD card. You get your 4.4, your USB-C, your 3.5, which has PO for phones out. You get your three buttons and they keep doing this. And I really don't like that this is a, the trend now where it's next track, last track, play, pause instead of, so you don't have a rocker with play and pause with a, you don't have a rocker with next track, last track, and then this is separate. It keeps it the correct orientation, which is the middle should be play, pause, and then last and next. But they're making it into three weirdly separate buttons. I guess you learn it. You do learn it. You got a feel for it. And it's like, oh, that's the top of a rocker. That's play, pause. Okay, that's the bottom of the rocker. That's next. And you hit the other one, and that's previous. So, I mean, you get used to it. Your volume knob is a knob, a big old knob. Now, you could turn this for a while to get sound to come out of it. 38, 42, 45, 48, 52, 56, 60, 64, 67, 70. You then touch the screen. It also is the button that turns the screen on and off. And when you hold it down, shuts down the unit. If you hold it down long enough, it counts down. Three, two, one, and then shuts off. You'll note, I did not shut, hold it down to the end. I hold it till about two was done. It still shut off. Here's the major problem with this new Fio, with this new Hibby, not Fio. This Hibby, because this volume button sticks out so far. Did my fucking GoPro just be pulled on? Double checking my GoPro. No, we're still good. 80% battery. Because that knob sticks out so far, if I put this in my pocket and I bent over to get something and my pants got tight, because you know how your pants get tight every once in a while, it would push this button in for exactly the amount of time it needed to shut off the unit. So I'd be listening to music and I'd like reach over here to get a thing and I'm like, I almost got it. And my music stopped. Why'd my music stop? I'd sit up. I take the thing out of my pants. It's dead. Did I kill it? Turn the button. Oh, it started right back up. So that sticking out that far is actually a detriment. What it should have is hold it down and then an on-screen prompt to say, turn off. But it doesn't have that. It just turns off. Here's your nice little, little display where you get to pick. You get to scroll down. Pick your letter. You want to do Vane's Visions from Bear McCreary. Turn off the screen. We put on our HG 600s. Now you turn the knob. Volume goes up. It's perfectly smooth and clear. It sounds like a hippie. That's the big advantage of this over a phone is that you don't have to worry about your phone. You don't have to kill your phone's battery. You don't have to leave your screen on. You don't have to interact with your phone. If you're on a phone call, you, you just put this on the side. You could leave it somewhere. You could leave it on a desk like this, completely separate from what you're going to go do. It is its own entity. If you do not carry your own music, if you don't have a library like I do, or you just have a, you know 28,000 songs lined up on a hard drive, something to put on an SD card, it's fine with both of these units. Both of these units, these sub $200 units, can stream. This one has, hold on, we gotta go back, we gotta go back, Stream Media, Title and Quobuzz. 
Uh, no Spotify. Spotify is weird. They don't make apps for specific things. This is, a, this is a custom OS, by the way, for this. Whereas this is Android, like full fuck you Android. This has Tidal, Quobuz. I'm not sure if they're going to add more modules. Look it up. Even with just that, we've also got wireless. So Bluetooth, Wi-Fi streaming, Hibby Link streaming, import via Wi-Fi, DLNA and AirPlay will all function from this unit. We've got a book reader in case you wanted to read a book on this for whatever reason, your eye, you just hate your eyeballs. You get your system options for brightness, backlight time, theme color, font size, USB working mode. Like I can turn that volume down. It doesn't take me out of the menu I'm in. That's great. USB current limited, USB DAC feedback, time settings, idle timer, sleep timer, battery percentage display I have on. Inline remote, if you have an inline remote on your 3.5. I've never seen an inline remote on a 4.4. Would be interesting, though. Um, your LED indicators, which is this nice, big, fat bar here. I like that, because it's visible from both sides, and it just looks classy. I like that classy yellow. It's it's currently yellow for whatever it's indicating. You could do a double tap to wake up the screen. I chose to not do that. Uh, button operation when screen off. So you could... Disable these buttons. Volume operation when screen off. Yes or no. There's no, as far as I could tell, there's nothing to, let's see in the shortcut menu. Pull up. So let's, let's see if I do the shortcut menu. There's a shortcut menu. So you could disable or enable all of these things. Your high gains, your next track, last track, your power, your your airplays. Uh, screen server settings, screen rotation. You can rotate 180 degrees or reset factory defaults. But this is it. This is as basic. That's why this has been the GOAT for three generations. It's fucking basic. Why do I want this, Zeos, instead of a phone? Because you turn it on, it turns on in like 10 seconds or less. You hit music, you obviously scan first, then you hit all, then you hit a fucking button, and then it just shuffles. I'm not a person who actually, if, like, if I want to hear a song on the go, it's probably not going to happen if I'm using a DAP, just because I'm just too lazy. I only put songs on one that I want to hear. And if I want to hear a specific song to show somebody, I'll pull out my phone and I'll navigate and I'll type on a keyboard. That's where this guy comes in. That's where we swap from the fucking bare bones. All it has to do is last a while on battery and fucking sound good. And it's a hippie, so it does that. Now let's talk about this one. Why the fuck would I want a little Android? What's the point of carrying a phone with another phone, Zios? Well, number one, its size is hilariously small. It has a 3.5 and only a 3.5, unfortunately. But I feel like for this one, there's a different clientele. Where that is more, I'm talking to audiophiles, people who are music enthusiasts. I feel like this one is more for people who are music enthusiasts. But not music enthusiasts, like, mu like music enthusiasts, but not like music enthusiasts. This is for people who want to open Spotify, who are okay with a little bit of compression, who want to Bluetooth things, in it, who want to do all the things that they can do on their phone, who want to get a USB dongle and plug a USB dongle into a thing, because this is that's where this comes in. In fact, I'm not going to make this a combined review, but we'll show off this son of a bitch anyway. Boom. Welcome to the EPZ TP30. So this is a very solid gold looking bar. But if I plug this in here, all right, we unplug this cable because I've got an adapter to try to go to the 3.5. We plug that in here. We hit play. Just like an Android phone, without any fucking fuss or muss. You could use any dongle DAC you want. So now the battery is going to get taxed quite a bit with this. But now this just becomes its own little separate ecosystem. By the way, anyone notice I'm using the purple Asylum cable with heat shrunk on permanent 3.5 adapters? I straighten the ends with my heat gun. And then I put some heat shrink on this to hold it in place so that we could have a permanent headphone cable 
Which, by the way, I want to thank headphones.com for sending, for they're the ones who sent me the headphone too. And they said, you know, you like it so much, keep it. Show it off in reviews. So, link to headphones.com for letting me hold on to these uh, indefinitely. Uh, let's sit down. And of course, all sound has now stopped for reasons. Uh, why is there a Sonic the Hedgehog thing going on here? Unplug. Plug. Play. There we go. And it stopped. Whatever. Point being, that works. That is a thing you can do. Ugh. So this, being an Android device, doing Android things, and doing anything else, you could load your Facebook app on this. You could fucking play games on this, although it probably wouldn't play very, very well. But this is... It's got Firefox. It's got Waze. Actually, I don't remember if Waze... Hold on. Hold it away. I don't know if this has location services. That might be the one thing that's missing. Uh, continue. Allow while using the app. I'm not 100% sure if this has location services. I installed Waze. Just get started. Allow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Continue as guest. I just want to know if it knows where the fuck I am. See if it could tell me where I am. Because if this has navigation, then it literally just becomes you don't use your phone for fucking anything but being a phone. And then this just takes over. Now, the battery in this is not as robust as I would automatically like. It may not have a uh, thing. Yeah, no, I thought. Th I think it thinks I'm in the middle of the ocean. Where am I? Oh, God. Taquara. Is this the Middle East? Burke San Pedro. Oh, Atlantic Ocean. Can I not zoom? Does Waze not zoom out farther than this? Hello? Mick Hello? All right, it may not have uh, any ability to do that. But the fact that I could literally be in here. Which, by the way, ooh, let's go to patronage chat. For those of you who are $10 patrons or higher, you get into this chat. Hello, $10 patrons. I am currently speaking to you on the Hibby Digital uh, M300. I'm sure it's not going to sound the best, but the fact that it has a microphone, can run Plus Messenger, and exists makes it amazing. Isn't that right? This is all part of the review, by the way. Let's play it back. So now, without anything plugged into it... Doesn't sound b so. My voice is automatically sped up on my phone because there's something broken about my Plus Messenger. But the playback sounded like shit. Playback here. The best, but the fact that it has a microphone can run Plus Messenger and exists makes it amazing. Isn't that right? This is all part of the review, by the way. Let's play it back. So, the fact that it has a speaker at all is kind of like a bonus because no DAPs have a fucking speaker. So for my old Arcos Five, which I found a picture of from like 2009, so. Uh, bird that says, hi, Ma, I'm famous. The fact that this is just is what it is, is the remarkable bit. Like, it's, even if you don't need a music player, if you're just watching this and you're some fucking tech nerd who just loves gadgets, this is the smallest little full fucking Android. It lacks location services, but the fact that it has haptic feedback and a 3.5 and a speaker and can work, and Wi-Fi, and streaming, and all this other crap that you just normally don't care about on a DAP makes it a different breed of DAP than this. This is your pure, graceful... The sound quality on this one is better than this one. This one only being 3.5, if I plug in, we'll see how well this handles this. So... You get your buttons on the side. You get your screen on off, which is power button as well. We get to slide to unlock, just like a phone would be. You're up and down, your next track, last track, and then a function lock switch, which actually vibrates it. Does that? It actually pauses it when you, when you do the function lock, 
wild. I don't think there's actually a play pause button unless there's... No, that's next track. That's last track. Down and up. So you actually have to get into the screen. There's no fingerprint reader either or camera, but a microphone, a speaker. This has got more of the creature comforts I look for in an Android device that the seven, eight, nine hundred dollar Android dApps don't have. Just haptic feedback when typing. It's it's it literally hurts me to search for a song when typing and there's nothing, there's no feel to it. Granted, this is not the highest end player, but the fact that it's working at all. Yeah, let's go back to playing. How nice these wires are. You know what? 100% passable sound. Probably better than what's coming out of the top of my, you know, previously $1,300 Sony with a 3.5 millimeter. In fact, we could check that right now. Hold on. I'm going to max this out. I don't think I have that exact song. Let's go here. Unplug it. And replug it. It's like 70% of the volume. It's just... The fact that this has a 3.5 is not why I bought the Sony. It's nice that it's there. But I have a trillion of these, so I don't really need the 3.5. This, even being a small, little, delicate... We'll see the device... It just sounds better. It sounds, it has more power. It, it actually is functional. No lyrics. The screen is really sharp too. Hallelujah. Yeah, the only thing it's missing is really a play pause button. And I don't know why they couldn't add it with everything else on here. I do like the function lock. So there's your LED, which is a little teal currently. I'm sure that changes color depending on what's playing. Let's see if we can shuffle to, this is a 128 MP3. To 192 MP3, 144 K bits, still an MP3, airs flack, still blue. But you can actually hear the headphones where they had to the phones working. So the fact that it's pushing headed to two means it's automatically better than most people's just phones on their own. So this will be even more powerful. Hold on, let's unplug this and unplug this. Hold on, sorry, switching over. I don't have the same songs on either one of these. Just trying to get a song with the same. There we go. That's fucking loud. This is the, the way this works is that this is the audiophile player. This is the player that I just want to listen to music. I want, I want better quality than all the, the little things I got going around. And I want it to be a dedicated little unit. Boom, done. This, I kind of like the Android device. I kind of want all the freedom. I want to install Fubar. I want to install my own, you know, USB player. But I don't want to fucking carry around my old. You could just go. Here's the thing. You could just get an old phone. Straight up, you could just go buy an old used phone. You got two hundred dollars in budget for this. You can go buy a two hundred dollar phone on eBay. All right, and the battery will be probably comparable to this because this is so much smaller and you don't need this at all are you going to do that because i don't think you're going to find one this size and you're not going to find one that has at least a decent headphone amplifier in it this is still a decent headphone amplifier like better than most things like getting into the btr5 sort of levels of goodness so this keeps you in the world of i can do fucking anything and this locks you out of that world and lets you just listen to music. This is my sort of player. I want a player I plug shit into, I hit play, I turn the screen off, I hit play, turn the screen off, and it just plays for hours and hours and hours and hours. And then I plug it in, and if I forget to charge it, oh, no big deal, it's not my phone. I still got my phone, as long as you got your phone. As long as your phone still exists, you're fine. As soon as you murder this because you're playing music on it all fucking day, that's when you have a problem. This just sits as a separate little brother, little brother to it. Look at it. Next track. 
That's another thing I like about non-Android dApps is the track change and everything are usually much faster. It's a little bit slower on this. Got the boys going. Yeah, and then a little DST, and I'm I wouldn't I'm not even gonna say the MQA thing because I don't think either one of them they're too cheap to have afforded the ability to do MQA. So yeah, you could have a phone absolutely instead of the M300 size. But really, this one, this one, that's the one I'd probably go with. Get the 4.4. Just you, with this, you have to have your own library. With this, you don't. You could just open Spotify. It'll connect to Wi-Fi. You could Wi-Fi it to your phone. It won't take a, a SIM card. Like I have a set of earbuds that'll take a SIM card. That's that's a whole other level of like not having a phone, but having all the connectivity options. So it's really up to you. Anyway, I give these both fucking super high marks. This one for just being the hippie that is awesome and always has been. And this one for being something new. For being an affordable Android device that is just, it's its literally an Android device. Far can I go? Nowhere? Anyway, there's my there it is. So links to the M300 from Hibby Digital and links to the R3 Mark II from Hibby and links to this mouse pad from this Project Melody. I don't know. She's an AI. Maybe she made this. Anyway, wallpaper in the horde. Patreon, subscribe, star, support this channel. See reviews early on there. See IEM reviews for free. You don't even have to pay extra for those. You just go there and there should be an open post somewhere with IEM reviews. Um... Follows a month also lets you participate in the yard sales first to the 10th of every month. I don't know if I would sell either one of these because I have now I have like a, a, a running streak with not selling the R3s. And it's so cheap. Like if you give me a hundred bucks and then it's $20 shipping and then it makes se would I rather have $70 or this just lying around? Because this is too good. And I proof fucking positive it's going to get used. I'll find a reason to use it. And this little guy, just for being fucking adorable. Just for being fucking adorable. Google Maps, Maps Go. My location is not available. Allow, allow it to find my location while using the app. I don't know if it can actually do it. That's the problem. There's no pull down. Like, it's got the full Android pull down. So I get to edit this and say what I want in there. Airplane mode, do not disturb, screencast, hotspot. I don't know how you'd hotspot because it doesn't have its own thing. But there's nothing in here that is specifically uh, for location. So I don't think it can do location or hotspotting. So it's a slightly, slightly beat up little guy. And the battery, I'd say in this, actively using it in your hand six hours. Six hours would be good. Uh, like powering an external DAP on it probably four to five hours it's a little tiny thing it's not going to last forever the fact that it even has a lanyard hook right there phones don't have lanyard hooks love the glass back on this too it is it is quite pretty it does come in three colors so yeah no yeah no yeah yeah no yeah i'm glad that look i just needed to not talk about fucking cd players and using those portably this is more the future this this should have always Oh, why don't you want to see this? This is why you don't need a CD player, Zeos, in 2024. The Hibby R3 Mark II. Or this, if you want to go full tits out and, you know, stream everything and just... Or down... I have a fucking Telegram channel. I can go download my fucking flack directly from Telegram and play it in Telegram or in Plus Messenger. Either one, they're interchangeable. And then have music and flack. Like, there's options... There's infinite options with that. And there's less options with this, which is honestly better for a DAP. Anyway, wallpaper in the horde. I already talked about Patreon, subscribe star. $10 a month to, to talk to me directly and get into the lifetime swap me channel. I'm good. Good. We're good. This is good. And this is good. And I'm good. And she's good. And we're done here. And I'll link all the stuff, including the purple asylum.